Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 1 through 5, where it is written, Do not judge, so that you may not be judged. For the judgment you make, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, I'm going to take the speck out of your eye, while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so we have in today's gospel reading probably the fondest, hum the fondest pastime every human being engages in, that of criticizing others. Whether it's the realm of entertainment, whether it's politics, whether it's your own social circle and so on, everyone's quick to point out other people's hypocrisy, their errors, and their mistakes. But when the mirror gets turned on them, suddenly there's much more nuance. So, okay, I'm, things might not have been great under me, but there's some very extenuating circumstances that explain the situation. So I should be granted grace. Grace, by the way, I'm not willing to, I'm not willing to grant other people. And this is how it always is in our own personal lives, in the entertainment business, in politics, in fill in the blank. It's a very human response. Yeah, they're all a bunch of fill in the blanks. But me, I'm different. Everyone says that. Everyone believes that. It's called being human. Here's the bad news. If you actually believe that about yourself, you are delusional. This world's a sick place. This creation itself, as of right now, is tainted by sin. We're quick learners. We sin. And that sin separates us from God. Without God, we're hopeless. We just dwindle down to get more degenerate and more degenerate and more degenerate until who knows where, we'd, where we would end up. Without God, that's where we're at. But as I said, without God... At the cross, God and man offers himself in sacrifice to forgive us, and so we are. God and, man, God and man, Jesus Christ, offers us a second chance at life to follow him. So we can not just be animals following our base whims, but can truly and, truly and literally become God's children. That's what Jesus Christ is offering us. And part of that thing in our daily life is to realize, yeah, we can be hypocrites. The very sins we revile other people for, whether you know it's lust, gossip, fill in the blank, we do in our own lives. Instead of spitting it and saying, well, I'm not that bad because of X, Y, and Z, the opportunity is to say, yes, I'm that bad, if not worse. Yes, I'm unworthy. Yes, I'm not worthy of being in God's presence. To condemn other people is to condemn myself. And we, then we're forced to throw ourselves in God's mercy and say, Forgive me, God. I did it. Be merciful to me, a sinner. And God forgives us. He does not hold our hypocrisy or other sins against us. And this is the opportunity to let other people know that it's not that I'm better than you, because I'm not. But rather, I've been forgiven. I have a new life that's literal and complete. And it's possible to share this. Let me tell you the real way out. Let me tell you how to truly get past things. Let me tell you how to have real internal life. It comes down to Jesus Christ. People are thirsty for this. Because yes, our world in all levels, politics, entertainment, personal, is full of hypocrisy and meanness. A way out is heaven indeed. And Jesus Christ is that way out. So let people know that it doesn't have to be this way. And repentance and new life in Jesus Christ, new and better life is possible. <coughs> let us close with prayer. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit to truly shine the light on us so we can see our sinfulness, our hypocrisy, that we may repent and may find our new lives in you and only in you. Amen.